Whoa! Hello, everybody. So, I just moved into my new apartment in uh, uh, Yamaguchi again. So, I just returned to Yamaguchi uh, as my fifth apartment in Japan now. And this is going to be my uh, second time living in Yamaguchi. Uh, I just moved out of my Hagi apartment and I got a brand new, brand spanking new apartment. This is uh, day one. It just opened up uh, a few minutes ago. And uh, five o'clock today was the soonest we could move in. So I'm the first person to even set foot as a, as a, as a tenant, as someone staying here. So um, let's go take a look and see what a brand, brand new apartment in Japan is. This place is really nice and uh, a pretty good price. I'm paying maybe around uh, a little over $500 Canadian, maybe up to $600 Canadian uh, a month for the place. So let's go take a look. So let's start at the doorway. What do we got outside? Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I got 7-Eleven right across the street. Ooh I got a lot of places around me, a lot of grocery stores and restaurants, so it's really nice. I got a brand new door with a gold doorknob. What? Shoes. Here in Japan, they like to have these shoe closets. It's, I think it's ridiculous. Um, what do we got here? Another big closet. Great. It's for my coat will go. And so, coming in, this is where I'd stand if I walk in. And what do you see right away? Ba -ba -ba -ba, the toilet room. Gotta keep it close to the entrance, I guess. So, this is like uh, my toilet from before. I like it a lot. Got me a spray, computerized spray toilet. I love these things. This is an awesome toilet to have. You wash your hand in there after you're done. You usually hang a towel there. Got my little toilet paper dispenser. And a little multi-shelf closet. Oh, this is nice. Oh, a little sloped. Hmm. Okay. So, going on into the main area. Uh, I don't have my lights set up yet. I have to buy and set up my own lights. That's kind of annoying, but I got one, so I'll, but I'll probably set that up in my bedroom. This is all my stuff. I haven't set anything up yet. I just moved in literally 10 minutes ago. Uh, coming in here, they set everything up. You got your tap, and this is supposed to be like filtered mode or unfiltered, but I already got a water filter. It's gonna be strange, I got cars outside Pretty busy street out there, so I got cars coming up and down all the time. But I can't hear anything. The wi the walls and the windows are really quite good, so I'm not. I can't even hear those cars going by. But it's gonna seem pretty busy out there. I got a brand new stove, which is good. Nice little uh, stove. I'm happy to have a new one. Uh, the other one had my old one had uh, quite. It was quite, quite hot all the time. It was always on a high setting, and it was really difficult to get it on its low setting. Oh, got this up here, bing, bong, and vents and fans and stuff. Yeah. Uh, this is the water heater thing. Turn that, now it's got hot water going. And I guess this one is supposed to fill up my bathtub, I think. Uh, hey, I got another cellar. I haven't looked in here yet. Let's see what I got. Maybe some cats. Nope, this one's just a storage. Good. These are kind of useful. I like to keep vegetables or uh, wine down there. Here's my terrible fridge again. It's very dirty on top. That's because my microwave was on it and for some reason my microwave had the runs or something. So I'm gonna have to clean that up. But this fridge is it's so so. Uh, moving on. Ooh, got my, I guess, pantry closet. And over. So, this is the what? Sort of the washing room. So, we got my 
Foss, uh, my sink and uh, where I'll do all my hair and toothpasting. I got my same washing machine. I just had me and a little old man moved it in and he was quite the strong little old man. He was picking this thing up all by himself. It's, it's a pretty small washer, but I'm not into picking that thing up by myself. But uh, yeah, he was a tough, tough old dude. Um, here's again, uh, these control, uh, air settings in this room. So this will be like fan and I forget. One of these is for like turning into a giant drying room for clothes. I think it's the yellow button. Oh yeah. Anyways, I well, gotta hold that down to turn everything off. Boo. Uh, here's my new bathroom. It's got a nice little blue color going on in here. I like that. I got, uh, here's where you control a spray or faucet, so either that faucet or the spray. That, cause for some reason they like to sit here and wash themselves, but I don't do that, that's strange. Hot and cold, and here we got, this is the same uh, temperature controller linked to the other one. Uh, this is hot water, and this should be fill up the tub. Let's see, oh, turn that off. Ooh. I don't know what it's saying, but I bet those things are going to start filling up. Woo-wee! And that's how you fill your tub up. I guess it's going to do it automatically. But... Thank you. Okay, moving on in here, got some shelves. Ooh, this is my walk-in closet. And it's got an entrance from the bathroom and an entrance from my bedroom. So really my apartment is like one giant circle. That's kind of interesting. Oh weird, I got that little, that's gonna be like spider zone in there. I'm gonna always look up there. Got shelves, the breaker box. Uh, more hanger stuff. This is my bedroom. I haven't set up my curtains yet. Ooh, that's the car owned by uh, the company that owns these buildings. Oh, there's some of them talking about selling these places. Mm -hmm. that, that, so that's another empty building, yeah. Do, 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 looks like. Good. And so, yeah, I got my air con. That's where I'm going to put my light. Uh, this is my bed from before. Pretty skinny, but better than a futon. I got uh, these cardboard things underneath because it kind of scratched up the floor of my last apartment. Um, moving on. I got a little remote control for my air conditioner. Don't really need that, but oh well. Oh yeah, and I got this little uh, window up here. Uh, it's kind of neat, because if you pull this cord, you'd think it'd have blinds or something, but it doesn't. This is to bring the screen down. You know, if I want to open up, but there's bugs outside. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Never seen a screen like that before. And this is back through uh, the main doors into the dining room area. And there's back to 7-Eleven. So, oh, I got a bunch of sliding doors. Three sliding doors, holy moly. That's uh, that's quite a lot of sliding doors. Let's see if it... Do, 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 do. Let's see what it looks like closed. Ba -ba -ba -boom. Yeah, okay. So, let's see, what else? No. Oh, they don't got any of the magnet doors here. Oh, well. Um, so, that's my apartment. It's uh, pretty good. Yeah, let's go out on the balcony just to see what that's like. It's a pretty big balcony. Do, 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 do. There's 7-Eleven. There's, there's my pole for hanging up my laundry. Wow, I got a really big balcony. Oh. There's my car and parking spot, number five. Yeah, looking into my place. 
I wonder how well people can stare at me. I feel like I'll be a zoo animal on display, which I'm totally fine with. Kind of like it that the Japanese people stare at me. It's like, oh, someone's different. And I go, yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's about it for now. Uh, I didn't post a second video about my last apartment, but I do intend on posting a second video about this apartment. Um, maybe in a few months, uh, hopefully just to show you how it works out, how it develops, what it looks like when I actually have all my stuff unpacked and living, and then I can show you more about Japanese products and stuff like that. Anyways, uh, thank you very much. Goodbye.